Pierre Polyev has been standing up for months now, pretending that he cares about high grocery prices faced by Canadians. And it turns out that his top advisor is working as a lobbyist for Loblaws. Ottawa's blame game over grocery prices escalates again as the Liberal Party highlights connections between senior Conservative MPs and advisors and grocery giants. The leader of the opposition's chief advisor is a paid lobbyist for Loblaws. His deputy leader was a paid lobbyist for Walmart. Jenny Byrne is one of Pierre Polyev's top advisors with a long resume in conservative politics. She also runs her own consulting firm, Jenny Byrne and Associates. Six of that firm's associates and executives are listed in Ontario's lobbyist register as working on behalf of Law Law Companies Limited. Melissa Lansman, one of the Conservative Party's two deputy leaders, previously worked as a lobbyist herself and four years ago lobbied on behalf of Walmart. We learned that the chief advisor to the opposition leader has served as the chief lobbyist of Galen Weston and Loblaws. And today we learned something else. The opposition leader ought to get in touch with his deputy leader who served as a lobbyist for Walmart, the grocery conglomerate. Oh they want to talk about competition in the grocery sector. They vote against it every time. It's no surprise. I can assure you, Madam Speaker, um, unlike these Liberals, uh, if Ms. Byrne had hauled the grocers in for a roundtable, prices would be lower by now. <laughs> uh, the reality is that the Liberal NDP coalition have nobody outside of themselves to blame for high grocery prices. In a written statement, opposition leader Pierre Polyev's office said, in part, Justin Trudeau's minister promised to stabilize grocery prices by Thanksgiving. He failed at that as prices have only increased. The Liberals failed and now claim it's really the leader of the opposition, not the Prime Minister and Government of Canada who holds all the power. This is laughable and pathetic. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.